It's happening. Anyways, Zeus picked up. All right, we are back. We are back live. My apologies. I, I don't know what happened to the stream. Just absolutely got got murdered. <laughs> uh, Juan Cena picking up the brood mother. That's very, very exciting. exciting. Uh, they have the ability to devastate a brood mother, though. Uh, oh yeah. Although it's very very strong against Zeus. Mm -hmm. As long as you can keep your spiders out of chain lightning range, you're good to go. Yeah. So who do you give the hats to, my friend? Oh, the hat draft this time. Uh, tough to say. I'm going to go with Marco's Angels. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. That Centaur and the Zeus are like tied for me for cosmetics. So I'm going to give it to Sync Cats on this one, I think. Yeah, I just, fair I, enough. I like the green theme in the middle here. They do have the color scheme going for them. Yeah, they have the blues on the ends and the green in the, the center. In the I love wow, it. the style. And then uh, Marcos Angels, there's a lot of reds, lot of purples. Variety. Yeah, and Broodmom has never been flashy. Even her immortal is those green bugs on her butt. Yeah, that's true. That's honest. I have the immortal. It's just fine. You know, Brood is a taunt. Oh, really? Yeah, but it's one of the ones you have to stand still to cast. She spins in a circle uh, and does like a spider dance. Bleh. Bleh, gross. Anyways, let's get into game one of Sick Cats versus Marco's Angels with some introductions. Up first on the Grand Magus, we got Plant. Second on the Zeus, we got Monster. Third on our everyone's favorite Sandy King, we got Station. Uh, we have Parker rocking out that Knight of the Dead and his undead brethren on the Lich. We got T Dub. For the side of Marco's Angels, we have Rodan Swanson on Invoker. We have Beef, <laughs> Beef. professional name Beef, on the Jakiro. Those are pretty, some pretty cool wings. From the top down on Brood Mama, we got Juan Cena. Gonna get some spiderlings going here. On the Centaur War Runner, we have Waffle Eats Pancakes. Gonna be charging in. And last but not least, on Sven, the man behind the sword. I guess it's a hammer and Han, but the sword <laughs> elegance. Elegance. I'm I'm excited to see how, like, the, the easily the highest MMR player in the game. I'm going to be interested to see how he does in lane. Absolutely. Will experience translate to team play? The team play, team game. After all, what is going on with these lanes? This is interesting. Monsters bottom uh, with plant. Looks like they're going to try. These lanes are a little backwards here. They've swapped lanes. I am really confused. Very interesting. It looks like Sand King will be Biddle against the Broodmother. They just probably favor that lineup a little better. As Battle is joined top, the punches are coming out. Parker took a lot of damage, so did Elegance. And they're just going to back it up. It looks like we do have an audible called. Zeus is going to be farming bottom, while Sand King <sighs> faces off against Broodmama middle. Yeah, that's a reasonable thing to do. Caustic devastates spiders. Mm -hmm. um, if you Caustic a single spider and you can Burrow Strike it, it just deletes the whole wave. Ooh. Oh, and Caustic Level 1 coming out for Station. Good call. Uh, Solid I'm, play here. I'm really confused about what was happening bottom. They were just hanging out between T1 and T2. Uh, they're two squishy heroes, yeah. you know? Didn't want to flex. Fair enough. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see how Zeus uh, converts and becomes later in this game. Up top, it's already support versus support. Carry versus carry. Two strength boys versus two it boys. I love it when the lane devolves into supports fighting supports and then the cores trying to flex each other out. <laughs> it's interesting. It's definitely some mid-like game uh, going on there. Sand King definitely holding a little bit of dominance here middle, flexing on the brood mother. However, Juan Cena doing a great job just sticking with it. Up top, Beef is going to go down to the Lich. Just being a little too brave at level one. <laughs> Elegance has that level two already, though. Sven feeling strong. Go for Cleave. No war cry yet. T Dub about to put some harass on top of Sven, but oh boy, is Sven tanky with that five armor. Just yep. tanking those punches from Lich. I'm actually shocked he managed to not pull the range creep aggro for so many auto attacks there. Yeah. Solid well, to the wave going under tower as we look all over the map. It's, it's going to be interesting to see how Zeus can do. Uh, they're going to go on top of Plant here. The Rubik in a little bit of trouble as they do hit level 2, though, and get under tower. The Centaur just couldn't quite get on top of them for that stomp. 
Oh, they spot the courier coming in. The courier is seen. The wave's a little bit <laughs> in disarray here. T Dub puts the harass on top of beef. But that liquid fire is gonna do its job and just tick a little bit. Mid is so interesting. Both of these bug like characters just doing their best vying for positions here. Yeah, it's one one slip up from one Cena and all the spiders are just gone and you've given up like eighty gold Ooh. and a bunch of XP. Yeah, Sand King's already at twenty one and zero last hits at the moment. Followed by Brood and Sven at around fourteen fifteen. Yeah, let's see. Harder. Go ahead. Ooh, T Dub and Beef having a little bit of a battle up top here. They're trying to run it out. Looks like the Sven's a little bit more favored up here uh, than the Wraith King. <laughs> Do you see this middle? Yeah, t cheeky cut of the easy camp or the medium camp. So uh, cheeky. Yeah, so 320 HP on those things. Burrow Strike, not quite enough damage, but... Teed up in a lot of trouble. They're going to get punched down here by Elegance. The dot damage, just so much from Jackie. Yeah, no Ice Path, just Dual Breath, Liquid Fire. Parker going to salve up. It's a hard, a hard lane for Lich to contest there. Monster looks to be doing okay on Zeus down bottom. Waffle eats pancakes. Is sitting comfortably at 14 last hits. So doing pretty well for a three. Yeah. Chain lightning is such an effective last hitting tool though. Oh, absolutely. And they didn't nerf Zeus's base damage of like 65 or whatever it is. 66 to 74. Yeah. Wild. One scene is doing a great job keeping these spiders safe. Caught up the last hits now with the... Uh with the Sand King in the space of no time at all. Using those camps to great effect. Up top, Elegance denying almost a whole wave. I heard the Wraith King a little bit. T-Dubs once again in battle with Beef. I don't think it's where they want to be. Tough fight to win. This is very, it'll be interesting. I'm, I'm very interested in seeing how the one works out here. Uh, Plant in a little bit of trouble here. Ronan Swanson almost down. Chain Lightning's going to come out. Monster's going to pick up the kill on the Invoker. Just staying a little too long. <laughs> oh, man. One Cena truly just stealing that camp repeatedly. <laughs> Making use of it, you know. Up top, Battle will be joined again. However, T-Dub does get away with the shield. Five Lots of aggression. Looks like they're going to go two and two. Oh. Is Plant going to go for it? Rodent Swanson's going to see Plant coming up here. Plant's going to get in the lead. He's got the tornado. Brood Mama doesn't have a web there yet. Ooh, and they pick up that bounty rune. With the TP, there's the tornado to cancel. Plant going to just try to walk it out, but it's not going to be enough. As Waffle Eat Pancake shows up, one Cena going to pick up the kill. Yep. Nice little kill on the pause five, but now Zeus has free run of this lane. And definitely worth getting that bounty rune for the rest of their team. Sand King currently sitting at the top of net worth, followed soon by Broodmother. And then Zeus and Sven neck to neck with farm as well. Yeah, to counter a brood like this, what do you first item as uh, Oof. as Sand King here? Veil, maybe? Maybe. Uh, it, it's hard. Or I've blank. never done the mid Sand King, so yeah. I couldn't tell you. I, yeah, I honestly think Station should sentry his own medium camp. That might be a value. The first or the second power rune coming up here is double damage going the way of Juan Cena. Very useful. Parker's doing their best up here in this top lane to catch up to Elegance. However, it's proven difficult. Currently sitting fifth last on the net worth chart. Or I guess dead center in the net worth chart. Definitely a rough time for Wraith King. As the fight, joy, fight happens middle, Juan Cena going on top of Station. Station's going to try to get under tower. They don't have anything for seven more seconds. The TP is coming in by Rubik. Station's going to try to TP out. There's the lift. There's the drop. But now Plant. Oh, oh Plant's going to be fine. He's just going to walk away. Juan Cena says, I'd rather yeah, get the I'll creeps. take the creeps. That's fine. <laughs> just cut the wave. <laughs> Let the wave push in. Grab that T1. Never mind you, wizard boy. I'm going to get these creeps. Zeus is now level 6, so we're going to be seeing some flashes on screen. 
Wantina rushing defusal first before boots. I think that's a really good grab. Ronan Swanson gonna go down to Monster's power. <laughs> Just decides. Time to die. Yeah, Zeus is feeling strong. Waffley's Pancake's in a little bit of trouble too. As the Zeus starts discharging the last of his electricity, Waffley's Pancake's is gonna be able to walk away though. Oh. No harm, no foul. Metal Brood has popped the uh, Insatiable Hunger. It's very, very low on mana. Ooh. Got the Soul Ring up? Soul what this up. Brood is. Ooh. So Elegance has hit six in this top lane. Has the full treads and a bracer. Doing just fine. Going Radiance? No, I can't be right. No, that's Wraith King. He's got Radiance queued up. Mm. Definitely a good item to go, especially if you have a Brood Mama in the game. Yeah. So the big threat from, uh, from Brood is her just deleting your towers the moment you leave. But Sand King can stop this as long as he stays in lane. Hmm. I think that's actually the play against the Brood, is to uh -oh, just... Oh, up top. It looks as though battle was going to happen, but it stopped. But yes, <laughs> I, th I definitely think that's the play against Brood. Oh, down bottom, Monster might be in a little bit of trouble as the Zeus begins to run away. No, nope. however, he's going to walk away too because Zeus has a ridiculous amount of movement speed. 355 move speed for Zeus. Comparatively. Looks... Zeus looking a little overweight, but like moving real quick. Moving real fast. Uh, Invoker does have that beat, though, with the Exhort. Or not the Exhort, uh, the Wex. I forgot that Wex provides move speed. It's so weird to see 358 move speed. <laughs> Juan Cena does have an Arcane Rune and has started to pester station. However, those attacks don't seem like they do quite enough yet. It's going to be Blink first for station. And I think that's right. If you get a Blink stun combo... Oh boy, there you go. Ooh. That's all the spiders. But the the dust does come out as Station tries to fight in. The defusal takes away the mana for the cast of his ultimate. Station's That's... gonna try to walk it out. Wad Cena willing to just punch it down. Station's gonna try to stay near tower as CW shows up with the shield with the frost blast. Will it be enough to save the Sand King? Oh, oh monster. monster! Coming oh in. Room. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's that's a bit devastating for Brood. You really need to snowball. Uh, they did pull a rotation away. So now Wraith King has been forced to go to jungle, and Sven's just got total free control of this lane now. Although it is pushing in here, so. And Elegance looking pretty at the top of the net worth chart with Brood. They're pulling away slowly but surely from Syncats here. Yeah, no doubt. The Zeus has got tricky. about 40 last hits less than the than the uh, the Sven at this point. Ooh, up top, Elegance gonna find T Dubs. The punches are gonna come out. The ice path does go down. Jackie doesn't even follow up. Elegance oh. is like, I got this. I got this. I'm going to go get that bounty rune, you know? There's the ice path on the Rubik. Uh, Plant going to just walk away here. Sand King close to that blink. However, the fact that Brood got defusal up makes uh, Station's time in mid pretty difficult. Yep. Absolutely. That's uh, really rough to try to survive against the defusal of sand king you don't have too many options you've got burrow strike but if you if you're defusal that brood's gonna catch you absolutely ronan swanson in the triangle going on parker parker did ping out for a little bit of health they're gonna lose all their mana however they got a mango if they need it yeah however uh, having level level. Yeah. i see that a lot with uh wraith kings usually yeah. just opt for yeah. another skill wait just wait for level two ulti because level one's cooldown is so long anyways that you might as well just die yeah, absolutely. Uh, Monster doing well bottom. They have an Aether Lens already. They obviously went Mana Boots and then Transition. Yeah. But I, I assume this is going to be Instant Aghanims after the Aether in standard Zeus fashion. Probably. One Cena feeling brave, feeling strong. Going to farm the Radiant Jungle because yeah. they can. They have no answer to it until this blink comes up. Which should be soon. Very, One sh Cena very shortly. Ronan Swanson just standing uh, in the Radiant Jungle, making sure to confirm oh, that they going, have it. They're going for the they're fight. Setting up. They're going to see Plant. There's the defusal onto the, the Rubik. Ice Path is going to go down. Out will come the Lich Ulti onto the Broodlings, who are going to eat most of it. Station looking to help out their fall or their brethren. However, the Tornado will come out, and the Dire will disengage. Yeah, the Lich Ult uh, ate a lot of spider health there, but uh, primarily it forced the disengage. And they're yeah. still holding on to T1 at 12 minutes, which is... Normally, Brood can delete your T1 by that time. 
It's good that they're holding out the supports on the side of Syncats doing their thing. Over Marcos Angels, like if they would have went for that, I think they would have lost some, but I think they I might I think have the Brood could have easily more. double killed there as well. Yeah. Um, it looks like it's going to be BOTs for Zeus. Next item. Ooh, quick movement. Good stuff. Ronan Swanson making sure that the Wraith King can't uh, continue to farm out if he's not in lane. Gonna block that camp. Oh, the Brood's courier died somehow. Probably tower. Likely Parker trying to re uh, trying to catch up here using the triangle. Elegance looking pretty though. Uh, in lane, they almost have their echo saber up. They already have the mask of madness. Yeah, Th this is the cost you pay when you have to defend <laughs> your mid against the brood who's diving. Is that this fan is just going to be absolutely huge? He's a menace. Yeah, How do you, I guess you deal pretty. with him via just a halberd, right? But yeah. I don't know who picks it up in this game. Probably Sand King. Ooh, Ronan Swanson playing invisible games. Rubik gonna pick up the invis. Uh, Wadzina is in the area, so these supports need to be pretty careful. Beef is also looking for something. Juan Cena gonna see plant. The sentry is down on the camp. They start beating up this Rubik. It looks like Rubik is gonna go down to this combo of Ronan Swanson, Beef, and Juan Cena. Rubik almost gets away, but burns out due to the fire. Yeah, Juan Cena intelligently keeping the spiders out of that fight to not tempt the Sand King to come in and help. Ooh, oh, Sand King, as Elegant does find Sand King, so once he is going to follow up, the Ice Path is down, and the reveal is there, baby. A good pick for Marco's Angels, and I think this might be the opening the Brew needs to take this tower. Yeah, although the Frost Armor is going to make that a bit tough. Lich Frost Armoring that, but yeah, they definitely have the DPS to bring it down. Oh, for, all right, all right. Not willing to let it go quite yet. Ooh, the charge in onto Zeus Monster. Gonna try to TP out one. Point one second. And he gets out while he's backing so close. The Dyer setting up a great gank oh, there. Monster's man. gonna rotate middle on top of Juan Cena. They're trying to put the damage out, all the wizard boys, but the Brood is gonna get away. I wonder what it's gonna be for Brood. Aghanim's second item? Maybe a Basher? BKB? Tough to say. Probably the BKB. Possibly. Um. Thanking almost has his radiance. Ronan Swanson just owns the entire bottom jungle. Man lives there. T Dub trying to get away. Oh, he's gonna burn down. Sven just farming enemy ancients. <laughs> Yeah, both of the carries strength trying to get their stuff up here. Juan Cena rotating bottom. Yeah, that's... You don't often see a brood swap lanes at 15 minutes, but hey, it paid off. You got that killing spree. And they're they're yeah. committing so many resources defending mid, it's probably the right idea to just bounce, pick another lane to be a brood mother in. Yeah. Eventually, isn't that the goal of Brood Mother, to just transition from lane to lane? Eventually. Yeah. Normally, you want to try to at least threaten T2 before you do that, but I guess they're they're just spending so much defending it. Just three three characters just chill in mid to prevent it. So they're going to take bottom instead. Bot T1 does go down. And it is going to be BKB for, yeah, for Juan Cena. Currently, both one and twos for the dire side up. Almost 2k net worth on the other cores on the Radiant. There's the charge. Elegance and Parker up top run towards each other. In middle, though, uh, <laughs> stationed in a lot of trouble as they're going to be threatened by all of it. Out will come the Epi, but will it be enough? Wansita going to punch them oh. down. Insatiable hunger, such a strong lifesteal. Insane. Literally just stood the fire. And up top, battle was joined. Elegance and Parker got into it, so Parker couldn't hop down. But that almost radiance. Aghanim's halfway done for Sven. Probably going to be able 20 minute Aghanim's. Brood's got that yeah. BKB ready to go, essentially. A couple hundred dollars. That's going to be really scary. Once you can't you can't catch the Brood anymore, because all you, you have non-superior magic. Mm-hmm. So smoked up Centaur and Jackie Top looking to get Parker here with the help of Elegance as he rotates towards the lane as well. However, Zeus and Lich are close by. They see the ward down. Parker knows he's in a little bit of trouble here. 
Will he be able to get out? There's the TP. <laughs> nice try from Beef, but too little, too late. Cannot catch the Wraith King. He smelled something was up. Time to go. Centaur's got his blink up. It's going to be a dead T1 up top. Yeah, Syncat's doing well to avoid the fights they don't want to take, but unfortunately, these towers are going down one by one. Yeah, it's really hard to hold your own against a team like this. Brood is just going to be such a menace. Up. It is going to be Aghanim's next for the Brood Mama. Good, very good. So Wraithing has Aghanim's. Uh, Sven almost has Aghanim's as well. Yeah, Wraithing has Red, you mean, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry, yes, Red. Yep. And it's interesting. Pause one Zeus gonna end up going Ghost Scepter here to avoid the the Brood Gank. Actually, pretty yeah. good because there's nothing she can do to you under Ghost Scepter. If you get Ghost Scepter, although Stormhammer is gonna hurt a little bit extra, but it'll yeah, save you, you from really those care. first five hits. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Brood can delete a Zeus in like two rounds of auto attacks between a set of spiders and uh, and stage longer. Mm -hmm. Oh, they scan out the fact that Parker's here in the jungle. Oh, just missed him. We've got a four-man rotation in the in the radiant jungle here. <laughs> oh, Parker's gonna be spotted out by Ronan Swanson. They're now giving chase. The tornado comes out. Ronan Swanson immediately TPing though. Uh, I think that was just a misclick. Uh, As they go on Parker, the MP does go down. Parker's not gonna have the mana to. Oh, he does oh, have the mana. Oh, he's got it. Wraith King's coming back. Epicenter is triggered on station. However, it was blocked by the. Uh, there's a big zoo, big on glitch ground. ulti. Big glitch ulti. They're gonna pull one Cena. Incoming Sven though. They what have God strength. They're gonna find Monster first. Will Monster be able to react in time? No. Elegance punches them down. Looking for more. Looking for more. T Dub, you might be next up on the list. Station with the big stun inside of the snow, the sandstorm. They're trying to move around. And there goes Elegance on top of Plant. Once you're caught, you're going down. That God strength is up and ready <laughs> to God, go. That's Sven. Just totally happy to one on three the enemy team. Like, no <laughs> Aghanim's like, yeah, I won't die from this. I'm fine. What a turnaround, though, from that fight. Uh, that was looking really bad for Sync Cats, but uh, that epicenter uh, and then into Lich Ulti really did a lot of damage. They yeah, the, the, uh, brood. the Macro Pyre actually canceled Station's Blink, so he couldn't immediately get in. He had to oh, walk really? a little oh, bit. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Mm hmm. I forgot the name for it. <laughs> as soon as this happened, I was like, ah, what is it? The fiery ground. Uh, the fire uh, ground. So a decent fight for both teams. Um, Marcos Angel still ahead in net worth. Oh, yeah. Elegant's About a 7,500 7, lead right now and a 6K XP lead. Dota buff thinks 73% uh, Marcos Angels, but uh, it just it doesn't know anything. <laughs> Very true. Uh, so the Sven does have their shard up now, so that is to spell upon Stormhammer. Ah, the classic, the classic seven two seven Sven. Yes, it just costs yeah. you an extra couple hundred, <laughs> couple thousand gold, and you're back to seven two seven levels of glory. Yeah, back online and ready to shine, Sven. It does have Stormhammer hammer now dispel applies a dispel on enemies. So that ghost scepter you got does nothing. That's. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's almost unfair. However, it's in the game. It's in the it's game. It's the way Sven the plays, baby. The frog desires it. Yeah, as Marcos Angels begins to death ball down bottom, the broodlings and Juan Cena looking for something here. Parker doing their best to take out mid. Out will come Sven with God Strength on top of the Wraith King. Wraith King does have that radiance, is going to just run away. Down will go the tower also to Skelly's. And it looks like Mars Day is just willing to control their jungle. You know what? If you've annexed the bottom half of the map off, it works just, just Yeah, you can just farm it. And Brood is now changing her attention to top lane. Wobbly's Pancakes wants to fight. Their team's pretty far back. However, they're feeling brave. Wraith King's going to hop right on top of the centaur. Out come a couple punches. Wobbly's Pancakes going to bowl with themselves, but Station comes in with the stun. There's the zap by Monster. Beef now in a little bit of trouble as the Jackie has been seen. And there's the dream. Down we'll go Jackie to Sig Cats. Parker looking to get more. I want more. In the meantime, oh, bottom tower there. deleted by Elegance. And BKB is well on the way. Sven just doing their thing. 
Making the moves. Yeah, Elegant's making great use out of the space. Uh, let's see what we got here for items. Juan Cena does have that BKB going eggs next. Invoker with just the urn, really. Yeah, pause four invoker is usually pretty poor, but tornado EMP is enough. Yeah. Uh, Wraith King's going to be getting that shard next for the skellies on rebirth. Oh, and no mana cost. Oh, true, 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 true. It does both of those things? Yes. Oh, but Rhodes wants to get caught out here top by um, the Radiant team. <laughs> Everyone's thinking about TP, yeah, we go? Do we go? it's not happening. Uh, Marcus deciding better not to. Uh, Centaur almost has full pipe up, which will be great for the Dire team. Instant cast point ice path on Rubik is so strong. It's ridiculous. Pretty phenomenal. Yeah, Sync Cat's making good use of the space. Uh, yeah. They know TPs are down. I don't know if they know that the enemy team is all in their jungle, but they're pushing on top and nothing's happening. Yeah, I mean, how can they react? They've spent two TPs and their team's in the bottom half of the map. But it looks yeah, like Sync Cat's are going to opt to just back off and be cautious. Yeah. But Marco's Angels they didn't even care about that tower. That's fine. <laughs> Unbothered, if you Unbothered. will. Unbothered. We're just going to push bottom. We're going to take the outpost. Station's working towards a Lotus Orb. I wonder what their high item. ground plan is for uh, for Marco's Angels. They don't have an amazing high grounding team. It's gonna be tough. I believe it's on Sven's shoulders. Yeah. Honestly, God strength, fly onto Zeus, profit, yep. roll over. It's that's their ideal. Probably scenario. gonna be. They're probably gonna try for Roche before they do that. But yeah, then just walk Sven at the tower and go. Elegance is alone. Looks like Sync Cats know it, and they're looking for it. There's the ultimate Zeus to see where everybody else is. Is it going to be a TP? No TP. The scan is down for the Radiant. They're pinging it out. Will they go looking? It doesn't look like they're fourth. <laughs> There's a BKB and TP coming. Okay. Elegance has a TP. That's 40 seconds on cooldown. I don't think the Radiant know that he's still up there. No, they assume he's gone. Oh, but Elegance knows. <laughs> and he comes Sorry, wait, guys, he's still here. There's the stun by station, the fear by the lich. Out will come the stun by Parker. The it's everything. As well. Elegance is going to pop BKB. Does he fight? He does fight. He goes right onto T-Dub. God strength isn't even popped. And they got to wait for that BKB to go down. There's the stampede. Ronan Swanson showing up with the smoke. Or no, invis, not even smoke. Uh, down in their triangle plant going to be seen out. However, they have the webs. So Rubik is going to make use of these <laughs> webs to get away. <laughs> Very fun, very fun. Oh my, I didn't Ruben even know Carter. that was an interaction that existed. Can you use Broodmother's webs? Like her own webs as movement speed for you? Or can you only use the ones you cast? I think you can only use the ones you cast, but I could Fair be enough. wrong. What a strong spell to steal, though. Wild. Oh my gosh. When you, uh, yeah, there's the Roche. They begun Roche. When you lose the spell, do the webs go away? I, I will have to see, I guess. Usually, maybe, I don't know. Uh, Parker's gonna find Rowan Swanson with station on top of the Invoker. Elegant's gonna find Monster though. They pop the Ghost Scepter, but guess what? The Dispel still exists. Plant in a little bit of trouble here. They have the shield. There's a Lich ulti. Juan Cena and Centaur are on top of each other. Waffle eats pancakes as Parker joins the fight again, trying to put beats down. Station in a little bit of trouble. Leaf gonna put that fire down. And they're gonna kill four Sync Cats and move on to Roche. Yeah, now it's an easy Roche. I mean, at this point, the Sven is just an unstoppable force. You need an Abyssal or a pre-BKB Halberd to stop him, and neither of those are currently being built. Yeah. The, the Sven is losing BKB charges, so... Yeah, we'll absolutely. Charge. Down to eight seconds. But it really comes down to whether or not they can weather this high ground push with the Aegis. Yeah, they have some absolutely. tools. They have a lot of, like, pushback. They have the Frost Armor. They've got the Chain Lightning, Fade Bolt. They can knock waves back, but... If Elegance goes in and finds a target, it's just dead. Only 35 seconds left on God Strength. Sven is a terrifying hero once they get that far. Yeah, and the crits are up now, uh, going Daedalus next. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're very <laughs> scary. You you need a, a Halberd on him, essentially. Yeah. Uh, Station should have, is very close to having that Lotus. 50 more gold, which could stun the Sven in retort if his BKB isn't up. 
Does it still remove Yules? The Dispel does, eh? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. What a, what a, <laughs> what a shard. <laughs> what a way to be. There's God's strength. Oh, Station looking to pick up one Cena. However, Monster now in trouble. They're going to try to get away, but there's the Stampede. The shield does come on. Same with the uh, Ghost Scepter. However, it was not enough. Now we'll go the Pyre. Parker trying to get something out of it. Will they be able to take out Beef? They take out Beef. They are coming back one more time. However, Station is running down towards Roshan. Parker does get up and blinks, keeping themselves safe. Station in a little bit of trouble Ooh. near the Roche pit. Out will come the dust on top of the Sand King. The Sand King is going to get the blink TP. Ooh, as Marco's Angels goes to check out the opposite side of where the Sand King went. <coughs> well, no God strength for this push, and everyone on the side of Syncat's coming back up. Slowly but surely here. Elegant still has the Aegis. Didn't have to use it on that engagement. Both cores BKBs are down to seven seconds, I believe. Yep. So we're getting there. Parker playing with fire, being in this top lane. Oh, that courier! This courier! <laughs> oh lord! He's got the halberd. This man He's likes doing to it. Live dangerously. <laughs> he did it. Woo this what is a guy. Shame. If they manage to halberd pre BKB, they can turn a fight in no time. Absolutely, and you have two solid targets for it. The smoke comes out by Syncats. <clears throat> it's a little sketchy going into an Aegis Sven. However, they know God's strength is down. Uh, and in goes Parker with the T or the blink. On top of Ronan Swanson, the damage immediately comes out from Zeus. In the back line, though, here comes Juan Cena. As Parker tries to put all the damage on top of Beef. They managed to take Beef as well. Juan Cena is going to hit that BKB. As Elegance and uh, Waffle Eats Pancakes decide, nah, we don't want none of this. You can mm -hmm. just take my supports. It's fine. BKB's down for a little while. Decent time to go try to go brood hunting with BKB down, but... Well, they got the Halberd. Next up, they need an Abyssal. They, they just yeah, don't absolutely. have anything superior to lock down these, these BKB lords. Yeah, it's going to be difficult. But never impossible. Currently, That's Marcos not. Angels with a 13k net worth lead. Over Zeus and Wraith King, hot on their tails. Yeah, it's been swinging. It's been swinging back and forth. And Zeus really, like, he's got all the items he needs. He doesn't need anything else. Anything else is just gravy on top of his current kit. A little bit of movement wouldn't be <laughs> yeah, too bad. Yeah, it wouldn't be too bad. Just don't uh, bother the with a Force Staff. Or with a uh, Yules, for obvious reasons. <laughs> go for that Force Staff. Yeah, uh, Zeus could honestly go for Shard. I haven't seen it on any Zeuses yet, but it gives him that 2,000 range leap. <laughs> the leap? Yeah. yeah, honestly, why not? I'd love to see it. Uh, how much does it do? Cooldown is 14 seconds. Mana costs only 100. Uh, it does static field damage when he comes down and reduces their movement speed by 100% for 2.5 seconds. Wait, so it, it's a 2.5 second stun? Oh, Lord, here comes Elegance. So Land in a little bit of trouble as Elegance pops the god straight... Monster going to try to help out with the Nimbus. However, it's not going to be enough. Parker in a dangerous spot as well. Wraith King's going to start slowly backing it up towards their team. Joan Cena has not popped BKB. Now will come that strike. During that time, Elegance will pick up T-Dub in the off lane. Or in the top lane. Both supports getting deleted by, by Sven here. That is God's strength, though. We'll see if they can get anything out of it other than just the Ancients. Yeah, I think Aegis is just about at expire time. Ooh, Elegance is being God's strength is up. By the team. Parker yep, thinks it's safe, for it. it's not yeah. happening. Oh, the skellies, man. And there goes oh. there goes the Aegis. The familiar sound of the Aegis going down. Ronan Swanson almost has Aghanims up for that cataclysm. Cataclysm. They don't have great cataclysm combos. I mean, maybe Stampede and Cataclysm. Um, it's nice when you get a faceless void and you can just cata the whole team. Yeah, to have some pretty fancy feet. Parker and Syncats... It looks like they want to do something. Centaur's not with the team. Will they be so bold? Yeah, it looks like they're going to be positioning on them. Elegance in the area, though. Sven and Centaur up top here. 
Parker Mustard Station. Look like they want to do something about it. They know Elegance is on the Ancients. There's the ping out. There goes Station right on top of Elegance. They're going to be able to keep them stunned for a long time. There's the Stampede out. With 150 health, Elegance manages to get out of there. He got the disarm, though. That's another BKB charge. Ooh, Wancina runs in onto the back line here. Seeing Monsters a little bit vulnerable. However, they're going to TP out as well. They're also going to spot out Beef. Oh. Parker picks That's, up the kill on the support. Like, the fact, even if they didn't get the Sven, the fact that the Sven wasn't there for that fight means they just won it automatically. Mm -hmm. oh, all it takes is coordination. This is Dota, like I've they said a almost, million times They before. almost had that, that magic damage to bring down the Sven. Just a little sliver of health, you know? They're going to actually be able to pressure a little bit, I think. Uh, God Strength actually should be up, so a little scary. You need to be definitely careful with this. And there's the uh, yeah, Aghanims and the Ag Shard. And it's going to be, what's next? AC probably for Sven? That's my guess. Big items. What is Brood Shard again? Oh yeah, it's a root. The okay. Silken Web? Yeah. It's like a nice little Atos that is on a shorter cooldown that does damage. Yeah. It's actually something Brood really needs in her kit for chasing down slippery characters. Although Insatiable Hunger has a nice slow on it, or rather Crippling Bite, or whatever it's called. The mm. passive. Incapacitating Bite. Rubik has that blink, that's wonderful. Lich has a Ghost Scepter. Trying to keep themselves alive. A Yule's on the Jakiro as well. These supports are trying to get these good items up. Yeah, Bullwhip and Aghanims on uh, on the Invoker there. What's Aghanims yeah. Invoker now? Uh, same thing, right? Just faster cooldown on Invoke? Uh, it is Cataclysm. You get Cataclysm. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Oh, I, I thought that was a level 25 card. talent, but I guess that was, a, that was a rework, right? Yeah, a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, not an Invoker player. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who here's got shards? Just a chorus. Oh, they're gonna find beef. Monster is gonna use his ultimate to see what else is going around. There's the ice path from the Rubik Stampede to get everybody out. The Syncats is looking to pick, get these small little cheeky picks because then everyone knows everybody's farming, you know? Yeah, for sure. And like Sven, yep, just gonna get a little bit bigger. Just wait for the next Roche. I think that's what they're waiting for now is the next Roche. And they're gonna try to do a more focused push down the lane. Absolutely. They ended up taking a bunch of fights out of position there and five minutes down in the ages. Yeah, it's letting Parker catch up here. They have uh, Basher queued up next. Yep. Slowly but surely, the Wraith King has overtaken Broodmama and Farm. Yep. Or Net Worth, anyways. The Radiance definitely helps with that. The, like, yep, and Parker uh, seems to be doing exactly what he needs to do. And he's got the Halberd and he managed to get it off right before the BKB. And suddenly your Sven is not so scary anymore. Working on the AC next. Yeah, good call. They've got Daedalus up. This Sven is ready to pop mm -hmm. people. <laughs> like, what else do you... Like, once you get that AC, what else do you even need on Sven at that point? Satanic <laughs> instead of Mask of Madness, maybe? Maybe, uh, yeah. Pretty well, you disassemble it and you make your mom... Mm -hmm. Or your Satanic. Uh-oh, T-Dub in a little bit of trouble. Elegant's gonna spot him out. Here come the punches. And they don't even need God Strike, that poor Lich. Nope. And all within the duration of a single storm hammer stun. Two seconds. <laughs> a pop, 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 pop. Dead. Dyer keeping control of the top half of the map, hoping to secure Roshan when he's ready. Juan has a bash row and is now going for a red, I think. Oh, really? Or a nullifier, no, possibly. Nullifier, yeah. yeah. Remove more uh, Ghost Scepters. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Elegance almost gets plant, but they do uh -oh. blink. However, Beef Yules with the Ice Path securing that combo. Parker is coming in. Here's the Cataclysm. Going to drop plant. Station with the Sandstorm going. Monsters in the back dropping as much lightning as they can. The BKB does come up on Sven. They're going to catch Station. God Strength is activated. Parker looking to fight. They still have an extra life. However, Parker in some dire straits as the whole dire team show up. Spot as many skellies as you can. There's the blink out. Dyer looking pretty. That was a solid engagement for them. Yeah, excellent engagement. Picked up the Lich before the fight started. And that was really on the back of the blink from Plant not going quite far enough. And then he tried to path <laughs> back down the hill and Jakiro picked him up with the Yules. Yeah. 
A great play by Beef grabbing up that. Uh, oh, shit. There, <laughs> there's a like, centaur. <laughs> Parker wasn't quite ready for him to be right in their face. Uh, their ultimate is ready to go. So Wraithing does have that extra life. And a basher. Ronan looking to steal as much mana as they can as Elegant starts making work out of this T3 tower. It looks like it's going to go down. Juan Cena is split pushing on middle, giving the rest of the Dire team exactly what they need to get what they need. The disarm onto the Sven. Please stop hitting my towers, sir. <laughs> Syncats almost has everybody up. The Zeus is about to come up in three, two, one. Will they take an engagement? They know God's strength is down. And it yeah. looks as though they're not going to be able to. The question is, does Marco's Angels get Roche for free? Oh, 100%, I think. The, the only play, I think, is to do a, like an aggressive smoke out and try to catch them at the pit, because you know they're doing Roche right now, and there he is. There's the scan. We know what's happening. Yeah. There's the smoke pickup by Lich. But will it be fast enough? Roche is almost at half health already. The smoke comes out. They need to run quick. I think... They're not going to make it. I think you still want to take the fight there just for the the AOE of Epicenter, but not too Contract little too late. Up. They were just too fast taking Roshan. Yep. God strength is back up. Now Sven's got that Aegis. He's looking strong and mean. Uh, uh, Sven is also carrying the cheese. Parker, ready to go in. They go immediately onto Juan Cena and kind of back it out. The Zeus kind of showing where everybody else is. Parker down a little bit of trouble. But this is what Syncats wants. Engage on me. Elegance going right for T3s instead. Down will come Cataclysm on top of the station. They're going to take out one Cena. Elegance now going to join the fight. They don't have enough mana for a Storm Bolt right now. The Lich ulti bouncing back and forth. Doing great work. But Elegance not afraid. Willing to stand the test. Parker going to stop this possible Storm Bolt. However, there is no mana. This Sven is coming back. God's strength is down. Will they finally pick up a kill on top of Elegance? The stuns are coming out. The beats are coming out as well. Elegant's gonna find T dubs <laughs> though and manage to pick up a kill afterwards, wow. regardless. What an amazing fight for Sink Cats. That real they really needed that. They took Aegis and it only caught was there buybacks there? Did I see any buybacks? No. I don't believe so. They got a godlike 10x on Parker. He is <sighs> he's cooking with fire now. He's got 4k. AC is almost ready to go. Um yeah, all you come back from from Aegis. You don't have your BKB. You don't have God Strength. You're kind of just like a very strong melee creep. Yeah, a wild uh, fight there. Elegance first deciding to go for that tier three tower and just take objectives. Very confident that their team would be able to rock it out without them. Yeah. However, Think Cats and, proved that five on four. They're not afraid. Yeah, they they needed that Sven there for the backup. Um, yeah, very very interesting how that played out. Just like a few seconds of Sven not controlling the fight and it just went sideways. Yeah. They did manage to take the the uh, the Lich out at the last second there. Uh, that's <laughs> the dangers of standing in range of Stormbolt. <laughs> <laughs> a very, I, I just came to watch, man. I don't know why you hit me. Right? <laughs> hey, what's going on over here? Oh, God! I'm not the right guy. Uh, yeah. So, Syncat's able to take that fight back. Marco's Angel is still at a 15k net worth lead, however. Uh, so, this is still anyone's game. Don't they just, pendulum. They just swung back 5k in that one fight, though. Wow. They grabbed a lot, 100%. Yeah, really, the net worth lead doesn't mean anything if your carry can't <laughs> use his net worth. Like, these, the Halberd, the Abyssal that's coming out, the Sven's going to end up being disabled nonstop here. Um, there's no superior on the side of Marco's Angels either. Uh, is there an Abyssal coming out for anybody? I don't see one yet. Or a Hex, maybe? For the Brood? Uh, uh, no, it's a Nullifier. And then going to be a... Oh, Brood's going to get an Abyssal. Yeah, it's Brood is going Abyssal, which is the right call. Because now Parker is just starting to bang. Yeah, Marco's Angels is going to start playing... Well, they need to play the pickoff game, right? Grab mm -hmm. all of that backline and then get Parker. Uh, it doesn't matter how hard he hits. You need to kill that Zeus. Yeah. You need to kill the Lich. And Last Lich. game around here, it was just Parker in the low ground. Everybody else in the high ground just teeing off. Uh oh, they're going to find Parker. However, Parker not scared. <laughs> the tornado is going to come out. It's going to pick up T Dub, though. There's the EMP. T Dub going to try to get away the ice bath. While he's panicking, just a little shy of the sun. Out will come the Quas stuff. It's going to dispel your cloak. It's not going to happen. Plant, you're in a bad spot. Elegance is now just going to start teeing off on everyone. The God Strength is up. 
Parker is in no man's man. They're going to start working on these racks. The buyback on the Rubik is coming up here. Will the fight continue? Deafening blast coming out here. They're press they're keeping pressure, Marcos Angels. Will they go in though? We got 14 seconds left on God Strength. No, oh, they're gonna back it out and farm. Yeah, showing some restraint, showing some respect, knowing that Wraith King is not to be messed with or taken lightly here. Yeah, he's starting off, those crits farm. are starting to put out some real damage. Built-in crits, man. Built-in crits. Elegance does have the Penta Edge Sword and now a Minotaur Horn, yeah, making them. Yeah, not I figure invincible. what you do is you you cast the Minotaur when you need it, and then you quick hot swap it for the Penta Edge. So if at, in six seconds you can do a bunch more damage. Yeah, one scene has got that Nullifier, that Abyssal, as well as Ninja Gear. Uh, Parker's still holding a Vambrace. These guys need to get out and get some Tier Fours. Yeah, they're uh, they're hurting at the moment. And you know what's scary? Those skeletons are running around killing creeps. Oh, I don't know. How does it work? Can can the skeleton spawn? I thought you your hero had to be in a certain range. Uh, I might be wrong, though. It might be that way, but I swear that You've skeletons seen it happen? have spawned uh, items, yeah. That's scary stuff. Oh, <laughs> no. Mr. Courier, run. Oh. Mr. Courier has his shield. Oh, and that That's was the all abyssal. abyssal. That, that was, was the whole all... abyssal. He needs that item. Oh, no. Oh, but out will come the lightning on top of Elegance. They're hoping to burst down Elegance before the team get there. The stampede does come out. Out will come the purchase for Parker, and down will go Elegance. Parker looking for wow. more. They're moving forward. They got the Lotus. They no got the BKB. Fear. They're putting the beats on Ronan Swanson. Ronan Swanson trying to get away. They're going to the that invisibility. Out will come the bounces. It's going to go from Waffles Pancakes to Beef. However, it is not going to be enough in the back line. One Cena did take out people, but Parker continuing forward on Waffles Eat Pancakes over here. The Ice Path is going to come down from Rubik. They are disarmed. They're just going to stare at the Centaur and hope that they burn him to death. Station does show up with the extra magic damage with T-Dub picking up the kill. Wow, that pickup on Sven is absolutely massive. I think we're going to see Brood trying to rat to prevent any pressure from coming out. Oof. Yes, unfortunately, Elegant's getting caught out there. Sync Cat's looking to capitalize upon it by yeah. pushing down middle Parker, here. With the retaliation rage from his dead courier exacting yeah. vengeance. But Juan Cena looking to do the thing. Yeah. Oh, There's the oh, abyssal on top of the Rubik. The thing. The Rubik, oh, he's going to go down, unfortunately, as Juan Cena has free range. Of the radiant base. <laughs> let's see now if we'll go Raxus. let's see if the radiant care though. <laughs> so they're gonna fort. Sparker tries to put some damage onto this T3. That Rax is getting beaten up slowly but surely. And will come the TB from Parker. And goodbye, Juan Cena. And Juan Cena gets out after putting some licks on that barracks. Holy moly. This game is going back and forth. The Sven yeah. is farmed. However, Parker's looking good. Parker with the tip from Juan Cena. <laughs> Monster feeling strong too, though. The amount of damage that the Zeus is putting out is actually the insane. Station being caught out by Juan Cena. They're oh, going to no sandstorm reveal. and be A-OK. -okay. No reveal. Lotus doesn't purge nullifier, eh? That's interesting. That is interesting. A weird no dispel thing. type oh it's it provides a basic dispel i'm not sure what what nullifies the nullify what nullifies They're, the nullifier if they can pick up Juan Cena here no Juan Cena smells it and is out yeah they've got a nice ward there told him exactly what was going on as the rest of the dire push down bottom looking to get this last set of racks open it up take that t3 away elegance gonna pop the god, god strength. strength is up monsters in the area they're gonna drop the nimbus and begin trying to pick at elegance however the god strength and the horn make it so that he can just go ham on these racks without any <laughs> retaliation <laughs> okay we're losing fights guys i'm just gonna take the buildings goodbye <laughs> good play looking to spot out station if they can god strength is down however the base oh. of sink cans is starting to look scant there's the smoke Ooh, so many of the dire are in that base or in the jungle. They're gonna scan out the Jackie. They find B first. All the stuns, all of the damage. Monster dropping so much lightning. There's Cataclysm. T Dub gets dropped to one third health. Juan Cena 
and Waffle Eats Pancakes are in the area looking for something. Parker is going to go on the Centaur as Wancina is looking to grab out Plant. Plant with the blink backwards. Ronan Swanson's in lane behind them all looking to get these racks. <laughs> I will come to Forge Spirits and start putting damage out. <laughs> the cheeky rat. Very nice. Oh, so cheeky. <laughs> as they wait for Roche, Roche will be up in a Two seconds on that Abyssal for Parker. It's up now. With a bonus 4k in the bank. What is Rape King Agonims? Uh, oh, right. Had. Oh, that's... I don't know if that's any good early. Uh, it's okay. It's a it's a seven second delay on death, my friend. Yeah, that's true. I think that could turn a game, you know. If Elegance flies in and blows up a support, they get seven seconds to cast. Oh, wait, cast all your spells, and you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> it might be a value. Uh, this one was up yeah, on the brew. We knew that already. Uh, is this better. refresher? Yeah, this refresher coming up for Invoker soon. Smoking once again. However, it doesn't seem like they can really get out of base. It looks like the Satanic is finally queued up for Sven here. Sand King working on a Shiva's next. Should be interesting. Yeah, attack speed slow, move slow. A smoke coming out. Can they catch this, hands, Sven? <gasps> Elegance being caught out. There's the lift. There's the stun. All of the damage. The from damage Martin. reduction. He comes out with the damage mitigation. However, it is not oh, enough. And they find a good pick. Doing the best, trying to sing the song of his people to keep Sven alive. Uh, <laughs> a very good pick by the Sync Cats. Elegance does have buyback, though, if he needs it. Everyone's kind of just backed off at the moment and are chilling. It's hard to break high ground on these Sync Cats. They got a lot of magic damage. Uh, Rubik working on a Lotus as well. Let's go in that Yule's. Wow, that was, that was a beautiful pick. That's exactly what they needed. They have a minute to do whatever they want. Roche is up. Parker spots it out. Ooh, Monster's holding the spell prism also. Like, dream Zeus item. Still He's got no the Aghanim's Blessing. wonder who that's going to go to. Ooh. They have Wants to defend bot, though. Won't see you. The scan this does come out. They know that they're doing it. Sent and the Dire are going to start reacting. It's going to be J well, <laughs> Brood, Jackie, and Centaur coming in on Parker here. Cats <laughs> is around to deal with it. The blink in, the blink out. Parker just like, you know what? That's cool. <laughs> I don't really need this. I believe there's C4 still to be found for the Radiant. Uh, they have a Ninja Gear, which is not particularly useful. Agonims is going to be coming out for, for Wraith King. That's his next item queued up. Pretty decent. Both teams looking strong. We're, we're getting towards 60 minutes here, which will just flip it all on its there's, head. There's going to be a Roche fight. Roche. Here we go. Oh, there's the charge. Trying to get everyone out A-OK. -okay. Roche is going to stun station. Monster's going to ping out where the rest of them are. Elegant's going to find the Rubik. They Yules themselves. And there's one hit and down will go plant. Station's the next in line for trouble. Parker just trying to leave. Down will go Station. God's strength is up. I don't think they're going to take the fight. And Roche is going to go to Marco's Angels. The Aghanim's Blessing going on to Jakiro. Yeah, you got it. Ags on Jakiro is that big fat macro power. Huge, huge magic damage. The Lincolns. Oh, this was the Lincolns. Uh, Lincolns is up on... On... Uh, Ronan Swanson there. Ah, I see. Sven does get travels. They have a moon shard on the Sven. Well, the Sven is kitted. Like, they yeah, have all the items they need except for uh, Satanic. Parker, play and brave. They know if they waste their stuff on me, then my team is the better for it. A 6k in the bank. Can you pick it up? You need to hold buyback. Still... Yeah, a 2k surplus there. Yeah. the uh, almost has the Lincolns. The Dyer needs to win this upcoming fight, like, distinctively. Otherwise, the buybacks that come out from Radiant side are going to turn it. And they don't have enough BOTs on the side of Marco's Angels to be able to quickly rejoin after buyback. These two lone racks just staying alive. 
Michael's Angels doing a great job of taking these objectives, but finding it a little difficult to get on this uphill here as Sink Cats put up a marvelous defense against this intense offense coming up from Marco's Angels. Elegance looking like they want to go in. Waffle Eats Pancakes playing very, very brave up there. As Juan Cena pushes in bottom. Oh. Here he goes, Elegance. They hit the God Strength and they're just going to take down that Rax right away. That's BKB one Rax, is up as well. BKB's down now. God Strength is up. Well, it's not up. 28 well, seconds. On it. Parker's <laughs> outside of base. There's the tornado. The ice paths are down for both Rubik and <laughs> Invoker. Uh, Parker taking a lot of damage. The Lich ulti is going to come out. One scene is going to the back line. Find Monster. However, Monster A is able to get away. Plant trying to get away here. Parker is going to Abyssal in. In comes Elegance next with the cleave. Parker is going to go down for his first life station in a lot of trouble here, but they're staying alive through a lot of it. Down will come the double edge from Waffle Eats Pancakes, ending the Sand King's reign. Wraith King looking to get back into this fight. However, being CC'd by the Jackie with the Ice Pass and the Yules. Station can't come back. Zeus in the middle Chain of it lightning. all. Monster putting out as much lightning as they possibly can. And they're going to go down as well. Lich on the high ground. Going to be found by Juan Cena. Parker in a lot of trouble. They need the last 15 seconds. However, it's not going to quite make it. They buy back. Both Zeus. Both Lich. Both, both Wraith King. I don't know why it's always both. Uh, so the Dire begin to focus on top of these racks. Parker hops right in. Gets Yules up in the air by Jackie. Missing the stomp by Waffle Eats Pancakes. Uh, Juan Cena in a lot of trouble. They're going to go down to the Zeus Lightning. However, the Rax is taken out as well. Looks like they're just waiting for this Brood to come up. Brood is going to stun Parker as soon as they're up and they begin to run away. Parker trying to engage. They're going to be able to pick up Ronan Swanson. Juan Cena looking to get Monster here. Monster trying to walk it out as the rest of the team are putting the beats in. T-Dub's going to fear in the uh, Arachnid as Waffle eats pancakes and uh, Juan Cena... Make sure it works. <laughs> Down will go the Brood. Parker looking for more beef. In a little bit of trouble. The Radiance, I think, is just going to burn oh, them yeah. down. And there's the Wraith Fire <laughs> Blast. That was a long battle. I think Whew. Wraith and Cooldown came up and almost came up again in the span of that fight. <laughs> Good thing they took Sven out earlier, or else that would have been a true struggle. That cost them, what, two buybacks on the side of the Radiant? Three buybacks. Three buybacks. Expensive. What do you do at this point? It's hard. Um, it's megas. Do you just make a like a, a mad rush, or do you just try to the three hundred Sparta it and defend under your T fours? I, I honestly, I don't know. This is a hard place for Sync Cats to be. Uh, Marcos Angels getting those megas. However, we're at a point in the game where the core is half enough damage to deal with megas. Yeah, for sure. And Zeus chain lightning damage can easily rip through the uh, the megas. Then though, looking strong, elegance. Just what? What else do you build? I guess you get your satanic. Satanic is still and kind of hit a. This kind of hit a peak here. The uh, the Sven hasn't really gotten much in a while. Keeps that getting just hard focus down. Like so chain stunned that you can't even BKB chain stunned. Mm -hmm. And with Wraith King having two lives, it's just so hard. Put your. Uh, Let's have a look at the levels here. Anybody hit thirty yet? Uh, here a level. Brood and Sven are both twenty nine. Uh, Sven's 30. Is that terrifying? Hammer stun duration? Yeah, it's pretty scary. <laughs> uh, Warcry move speed and Brood Mama. Just a bunch more spider health and damage, which is not that relevant late this late game, unless you're using it to hit the core. Absolutely. Uh, Zeus feeling his oats. He's gonna get the Aghanim's Blessing next to make some space. Uh, 775 last hits on Sven. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, was... How many Four people minutes, had to die 60. for this senseless war? <laughs> now the question is, if you're Marco's Angels, do you close this out before six here? Are you waiting for those items and another Roche? I don't know. It's there's cheese just sitting in the fountain in the Roche bit. Like, oh no! <laughs> the courier should see it. The Brute's got the. He's, he's got We're not courier. concerned. You know what? We don't We're need that concerned. cheese. Cheese not even worth a slot in my inventory. Elegance out and about with an invis rune. Very brave. The rest of the team right behind them. Oh, man. Yeah, a lot of this fight is going to depend on whether or not Zeus can stay hidden enough to not get gone on. 
He's a lot of the team's damage output. Parker is soaking a lot of the heat and putting out damage, but most of the big damage is coming from Zeus right now, just deleting the supports. Absolutely. T-Dubs is working on Greaves. Station's going to grab the Minotaur Horn. He's got that Shiva still. Awful Eats Pancakes has that hard on Centaur and is working through the Overwhelming Blink. Overwhelming Blink is an amazing item. Pretty strong. I mean, Pretty very strong. expensive. Very expensive. But uh, the move speed slow. Boom. <laughs> the Brood has a uh, Butterfly. I don't know if that's a Honestly, new grab. This is a really smart pickup. Uh, level 25 on Sand King is the uh, Sandstorm slow and blind. 40% blind. There's no MKB on the Sven. Ooh. Very true. Very strong talent for our Sand King. As Marcos Angel starts the position on the bottom half of the map. Is this the final push? Is this Sync Cat's final moments or will they rebuff them? <laughs> rebuff them and then know. sprint down mid and hope for the best. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, we back. gotta run, guys. Oh, Zeus exposing Ooh. himself. And Parker immediately on top of Beef. They do have the Aeon disc. The stun's not going to be enough. Here comes Elegance and the rest of the party. Down will come Cataclysm on top of Plant's head. He's gone. Parker trying to fight three heroes at once. Plant doesn't know that he's still alive. Okay, Plant goes down. Parker has the ability to move around, though, while he's dead. In comes Second with Epicenter. Elegance has the BKB and the God Strength. They're going to be able to take down Wraith King for the second time. Both heroes have seven seconds of motion. They're going to be able to take out the Invoker. Yeah, Invoker and goes down. And goes down on the ground. Sven is like, please, for the love of God, let us end this game. <laughs> leaving Monster alone to defend the entire base. They're going to try to put out all the magic damage they can. Plant lifting up Elegance to put him back down. Out oh. will come the Stormhammer on top of Zeus. It grabs him under the ice path. The Low Storm is going to show up next. Will they focus this Ancient? And down it's going to go for Marco's Angels. Whew, what oh, a game man. one. Yeah, was it. What a bruiser. What a slugfest from these was, two teams. Oh, that, my God. That was bloody. I, I need a shower. I need, I need a, a cigarette. shower after that one. <laughs> All right. Let's go to the scoreboard. Let's pick a support. Pick a person. Oh, man. Tough to say. Tough to say. Support of the game. For me... Like Maybe I, it's Rubik. Yeah, I, I I agree with you. I was gonna say Monster because Zeus support, like he's just in the back line supporting, you know. But like, he did too much damage, and he's super core. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Rubik as well. Wicked steals, yeah. really good ice paths. Uh, we'll see you in five minutes.